No, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you because yes, Greatrix mentioned that you were starting to crush it. And I remember when you approached me back in, you know, after the July 28th Sage conference, and you said, when I saw the Greatrix and how far it's come, um, I you know I'd paraphrase, but you said something about it just seems like the best thing to do for our clients when it comes to CRM. Yeah, I I think that you know, especially now that we've had some clients who have been using Sage CRM for a good amount of time. We, 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 our, our client base has grown in the number of, of people that have been using CRM and there's been a common thread of um, features that they've been asking for. And, um, you know, for some of those clients I've gone through and tried to develop that myself. And a lot of it's been information that they feel like that they're not getting out of Sage 100 or not getting easily out of Sage 100 with the standard integration of CRM. Can you give me an and example? What, uh, the easiest example, uh, probably one of the most, most um, commonly asked things was inventory information. Mm. Uh, primarily, you know, it's salespeople that are, are most often using Sage CRM or they're one of the main groups that are using Sage CRM. And they want to be able to easily see what inventory they have in their warehouse. And it's not the easiest way to do that right now through the standard integration. You basically have to jump through a few hoops to get there. And when I saw the presentation that you did at the conference, it just was like a aha moment, you know, it's it sort of the stars had all aligned, so to speak, um, having, you know, uh, all this um, experience, it, it seemed like that the Greatrix integration was really um, checking off all the boxes that the standard integration does not check off. And I think that for most of our clients, it you know, using the Sage CRM versus another CRM, I think takes them to one level. Um, having the the basic integration and the lack of duplicate entry that they're going to gain from from using the standard integration is great. But from what I've seen so far, the the Greatrix integration just takes them to a whole other level and really elevates their ability to. Um, effectively and efficiently access data that they either have to go through Sage 100 to do, or in a lot of cases, um, uh, can't even access now. Um, so it really seems like it's going to open up a lot of doors um, for for the users that are, are are accessing it that way now. When you when you started, you know, showing your clients the Google or your prospects. Were they already using Sage CRM or were they seeing this for the first time just with the new interface? Uh, a mix of both, uh, a mix of both. And all of our clients, whether they were using CRM before or not, are all Sage 100 um, users. So I think for the clients that are currently using Sage CRM, the, um, the ability to see all of this information through completely through the web um, was something that really excited them. Um, you know, one of the complaints that most of this, um, the users have, especially if they're, a, a, especially now with, with, with everything that's going on, they're generally a mobile, uh, mobile user. Mm -hmm. you know, they're at home or they're on the road or whatever, whether it be through a tablet or um, a computer. And for them to have to, access the Sage 100 information they want to access through the standard integration, they need to be logged in through a VPN or through a remote desktop or actually in the building so that they can launch those Sage 100 screens. So with the Greatrix integration, for them to be able to see all of that information directly through the web, um, it, it really excited them. Um, and that was something that, you know, user buy-in is a huge component of yeah. of uh, success for any CRM, not just Sage CRM. And I think for you to be able to tell any user 
hey, you can get all this information directly through a website. You don't have to jump through any additional hoops to you know, re remotely connect and be able to see that information um, is something that really excites them and gets them um, eager to, 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 to start using the product. And um, for anyone that's ever tried to implement a CRM, you know that that's a big part of the battle. Adoption, yeah. Adoption. Exactly. Why would I use this? Exactly. Yeah. You 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 need to show the benefit to the users for them to to buy in. And um, you know the 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 Greatrix integration just makes um, uh, exhibiting that uh, benefit to them um, a lot easier. Um, it's a lot quicker for them to see the return on investment for them to. Um, start using the product. Yeah. Now, have um, I don't know if you've gotten this far, but do any of your clients anticipate using the order processing functions? Most of them, yes. Um, most of the clients that that we have using CRM in general are using um, using it to to at least enter quotes. Um, typical um, setup is they have their salespeople outside sales teams are, are entering quotes through the system and then um, you know the they're sending it in internally to then be processed as an order and again you know uh, that can be a little bit challenging at the moment if you have someone who's on the road a lot because you either have to be logged into the system or if the quick order entry screen that the standard integration has uh, is not as robust as as a lot of people would like it to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it does have some nice functionality to it, but once you start getting any heavy lifting with, you know, uh, dealing with a lot of align items or things like that, it, it, it can be kind of a little bit more difficult than users want it to be. And I think, you know, seeing the information um, that you're getting through the Greatrix integration, you know, uh, invoice inquiries, uh, customer statistics, things like that, that's obviously very exciting. And it, it provides a lot of insight for people, which is something they want. But I think where it really shines and really separates itself is um, the, uh, the order processing um, screens that it, that it has. Um, you know, to be able to tell someone that they can just easily pull up a quote entry screen and see a list of all their items and be able to rapidly select items that they want to add to a quote and then be able to send that quote directly to the customer all in one place through CRM um, is, is, it makes it really a no brainer for everyone that I've shown it to thus far to everyone that sees it. Pretty much everyone that sees it that's doing any sort of quote entry, quote or order entry, um, especially if they're, you know, I think if you have a, a user base that everyone's inside the building, um, mm -hmm. it's a little bit different. I do have a few clients where, um, you know, everyone's inside the building. So for them to be able to hit, you know, customer maintenance to look up, I, uh, uh, you know, invoice history inquiry or something like that to, to get some more insight into the customer's data to launch the Sage 100 or entry screen, it's not as difficult. But for anyone that's not inside the building and they have to jump through those extra hoops to get that uh, connection to their database, the, the, um, the, the order entry system is by far the easiest way to show somebody how much better and more efficient they will be by using this integration. Better and more efficient. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, uh, if, if um, I think it's a great way to put it. It's better and more efficient. And if you see it, you'll go, wow, I didn't know. But that's why I wanted to, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's basically the reaction I had <laughs> when I saw it. Um, so it just, naturally the clients are having a, a very similar reaction you know i think it just like i said earlier it, it's it 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 you know the sage crm as it stands on its own 
for any, especially any for anyone that's using a Sage product like Sage 100, which our clients do, it's easy to see the benefits of using Sage CRM versus another CRM. Anytime that you can reduce uh, duplicate entry and provide um, your user base insight into, um, you know, your customers, that's going to be a good thing. But then, you know, the the Gratrix integration just really takes that to the next level. And while with the standard integration, you can do a lot of these things, sometimes, uh, whether it be, you know, the client saying this or me saying this, you know, it, it just seems like it takes a few too many clicks or extra steps to do that. And the Gratrix integration basically eliminates any of those extra steps or hurdles and really just makes it um, uh, really truly integrates the data between the two products and makes it seem makes it seem like a seamless integration. Is there anything you can say about working with the good people at Gratrix yet? <laughs> Uh, yes, I, and I've I've been able to uh, I've had the pleasure of dealing working with them previous to um, LLB's um, uh, involvement with their their integration product, but um, you know they have been always very accommodating. They're always very constantly updating me on what's going on, giving me updates on you know, when projects will be completed or where they are in the process, you know, following up with me, making sure I have any questions. And so it, it, it it's been very enjoyable uh, and easy experience. I mean, you know, one of the fears that I had when jumping into this was, you know, I don't really know that much about their integration and, you know, how much how much support was I going to need uh, so that our clients could be, you know, would have the uh, the support that they would need, and both Graytrix and 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 you, uh, for that matter, have been more than accommodating and have been very forthcoming with any and all information that that they or I would need to make sure that you know the the transition or go live would be as smooth as possible. And I think, you know, I think it it. It seems like, and I know you and I have talked about this before, is that we all sort of seem to be on the same page about what we're trying to accomplish. They're trying to make everything as smooth as possible. It's been it's been a very good experience in that regard. I I I, found, I have found it to be a very easy um, transition for the handful of clients that I have so far um, going to um, their integration. Um, and uh, I would imagine that it'll only continue to do so. Couldn't have said it better. I think there's always inherent risk in dealing with a different group of people, and that you know a lot of the well the Gratrix team are in a different time zone, but just every experience I have is so positive. They're very committed and easygoing and friendly, but professionalism and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's worked out so well for you and the product continues to get better and and more people should know about it. Uh, I do think they've built a better mousetrap. Yeah, I think I think one of the things that you just mentioned there was that the product continues to get better. And even just, you know, from what I've seen and and talking with you, that it is constantly being improved upon and not only from a technology perspective of you know making sure that things are compatible, you're seeing um, features um, be added on a very regular basis, um, which is always very nice to see. Yeah, um, I, you want to feel like the um, yeah, I think cl uh, users want to feel like that the money that they're spending on a subscription is going towards something, and so. Not only is it a way to, you know, lock you in for pricing, but that 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 money is being, you know, uh, invested into the product, and so, you know, and and uh, even in the the short time that I've been um, working with you and the Great Tricks team, 
I have been asked by both of you numerous times, what are the things that you're hearing from your clients so far? What are the things that we can be improving on um, mm -hmm. to basically make this the best it can be? Um, which I think clients really appreciate, and I know I certainly appreciate. Um, and it, you know, I mean, Greatrix is obviously um, uh, a big, big player in the Sage CRM market. And I think that that's also an encouraging thing because you know that it's not going to go away anytime soon. That this isn't something that you're going to move uh, either yourself or your clients to, and then a year from now they're going to say, "Oh, you know, we're not doing that anymore." So sorry, no, not the case. You definitely do not get that impression at all. Um, and I think, you know, as it as more and more people use it, um, I would imagine that that uh, will only get stronger and stronger in that regard. For sure, for sure. Every I mean, they listen and there comes up, uh, things go on a wish list and then they go on a plan and they get, they get enhanced. So I, I'm glad that you took a few minutes here to tell me about your experiences and they're the same as mine. It's all positive. And I, I hope that more of your, uh, more people in this age 100 community take a look and see the difference. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, uh, um, you know, I, I uh, my experiences so far, it, it, they've been somewhat limited, you know, compared to, I'm sure, your experiences with them. But so far, it's been any uh, concerns that I may have had um, just in dealing with, you know, there's always a concern, like you said, with dealing with third party vendors and, you know, how, how is that going to go? But so far, it's been really honestly better than I could have expected. Um, Tell a friend. <laughs> I honestly have. There are a few, um, it, really any other um, consultant that I know just through, uh, you know, that I've crossed paths with and that I know that they're doing CR. I'm like, I mention it to them because I think, you know, we're all just trying to do the same or thing. We're trying, trying to, to, do, the best job we can, trying to but... do the best job we can and trying to um, put our clients in the best position they can to succeed. And, um, you know, for most of my clients that are using Sage CRM, using this integration seems to be the way to do that.